Welcome to a journey towards a more focused life. In the whirlwind of our daily existence, maintaining focus can often feel like trying to catch a gust of wind with our bare hands. Easy to understand but seemingly impossible to grasp. Yet, focus is the linchpin that holds together our ambitions and the fulfillment of our goals. It's the compass that directs us towards success, be it personal or professional. Today we're going to explore 10 ways of living a focused life. A guide to help you navigate the stormy seas of distractions and sail towards the island of productivity. This is more than a list of tips. It's a roadmap for those who are eager to live more deliberately, more fully, and yes, more focused. So are you ready? Let's embark on this journey and discover the 10 ways of living a focused life. The first way to live a focused life is to do morning pages. Now, you might be wondering, what are morning pages? Well, it's quite simple. Imagine starting your day by pouring out your thoughts onto paper, giving form to your ideas, fears, dreams, and aspirations. This is what morning pages are all about. It's not about writing a novel or crafting the perfect sentence. It's about expressing yourself freely, without judgment, without editing. It's a raw, unfiltered dialogue with yourself, a self-conversation that can lead to profound insights and clarity. Morning pages are a powerful tool for clearing the mind. Think of it as a mental detox, a way to declutter your thoughts and make room for creativity and focus. It's like doing a morning jog for your brain, warming it up for the day's challenges and tasks. Often our minds are filled with so many thoughts, worries, and to-dos that it's hard to concentrate on one thing. Morning pages offer a way to offload these mental burdens, to put them on paper and out of your mind, freeing up mental space for focused, productive work. But the magic of morning pages doesn't stop at mental clarity. They also set the right tone for the day. By spending the first moments of your day in a state of calm reflection, you're more likely to approach your day with a sense of purpose and positivity. You're not reacting to the world. You're proactively setting your intentions for the day. So how do you do morning pages? It's easy. Just grab a notebook and a pen and write. Write whatever comes to your mind without worrying about grammar or punctuation. Write for about three pages or until you feel you've emptied your mind. And remember, there's no right or wrong way to do morning pages. It's a personal journey, a dialogue with yourself. Morning pages, a simple yet powerful tool to start your day with clarity. Next, start your day with a good sweat. It's not just a saying, it's a scientifically backed method to kickstart your day on the right note. Physical exercise, especially in the morning, has a multitude of benefits that can help you seize the day with a clear mind and a healthy body. Firstly, physical exercise is a natural mood enhancer. It releases endorphins, the feel-good hormones, which not only make you happier, but also help in reducing stress and anxiety. So, if you start your day with a workout, you're already one step ahead in maintaining a positive outlook throughout the day. Secondly, physical exercise is a powerful tool to sharpen your focus. It increases blood flow to the brain, which in turn helps in improving cognitive functions, including concentration and memory. It's like oiling the gears of your brain for a day of productivity and creativity. Another benefit of morning exercise is that it sets a rhythm for the rest of the day. It creates a sense of accomplishment first thing in the morning, which can boost your confidence and motivate you to tackle other tasks with a can-do attitude. Physical exercise also helps in gaining control. It's a personal discipline that you practice every day. It's a commitment you make to yourself, a promise to take care of your body, and that commitment and discipline can spill over into other areas of your life. Lastly, regular physical exercise helps you sleep better. A good night's sleep is essential for a focused and productive day. By exercising in the morning, you set your body's internal clock to a healthy sleep-wake cycle. So, whether it's a brisk walk in the park, a challenging yoga session, or a high-intensity workout, find an activity that you enjoy and make it a part of your morning routine. There's no one-size-fits-all when it comes to fitness. The key is consistency and making an effort to move your body every day. So, break a sweat and break your mental barriers. Remember, a healthy body harbors a healthy mind, and a healthy mind is a focused mind. The third way is to prioritize your tasks. Imagine your tasks as a game of chess. The key to winning isn't just about moving pieces around, it's about knowing which pieces to move and when. That's where prioritizing comes into play. You see, every task on your plate holds a different weight, a different significance. Some tasks like the pawns in chess may seem small or mundane, but they can be essential to your overall strategy. Other tasks like the queen may be more significant, with the potential to make a powerful impact. 
Now the trick is to prioritize these tasks based on their long-term impact. Consider this. What tasks will bring you closer to your goals? What tasks align with your core values and vision? These are your queens, your rooks, your bishops. They are the tasks that when accomplished, can dramatically shift the game in your favor. On the other hand, tasks that offer little to no value towards your goals, those that are more reactive than proactive, can be likened to the pawns of your chessboard. They are important, yes, but they should not take precedence over your more impactful tasks. Think about it. If you spend all your time moving pawns and neglect your queen, you're unlikely to win the game. The same goes for your tasks. If you're constantly caught up in the day-to-day, -day, the mundane, the reactive tasks, you're unlikely to make significant progress towards your larger goals. So start each day by identifying your tasks. Then, categorize them based on their long-term impact. Prioritize the tasks that align with your goals and vision, and delegate or delay the ones that don't. Remember, not all tasks are created equal. Prioritize for success. Fourth, seek inspiration from unrelated industries. You see, there's a wide world out there filled with a myriad of ideas, innovations, and inventions, many of which we may never stumble upon if we stay focused solely within our own fields. That's why it's essential to seek inspiration from unrelated industries. Now, you might be wondering, why should I look for inspiration outside of my field? Well, think of it this way. Imagine you're an architect. You're used to looking at buildings, designs, blueprints all day, every day. It's your world. But then one day, you decide to take a detour. You start exploring fashion design. You look at how clothes are structured, how patterns are layered, and suddenly, you're seeing parallels to your own work. You're inspired to approach your architectural designs in a new, fresh way. This is the power of seeking inspiration from diverse fields. It broadens your perspective. It fosters creativity. It encourages innovation. It challenges you to step outside of your comfort zone and to view your work from a different angle. When we expose ourselves to different industries, we open our minds to new ideas and concepts that we can bring back to our own work. We learn about different strategies, methodologies, and techniques that can enhance our own practices. So, how can you start seeking inspiration from unrelated industries? You can start by reading books, articles, or watching documentaries about other fields. Attend lectures or webinars. Network with professionals from different industries, ask questions, be curious, embrace the unfamiliar. In short, diversify your sources of inspiration. Don't limit yourself to what's familiar or comfortable. Challenge yourself to explore the unexplored. Expand your horizons, seek inspiration from the unexpected. Fifth, treat people with respect and value their potential. In our journey of personal development, it's crucial to understand the significant role that others play in our lives. Each interaction, each conversation, every relationship, they all contribute to our growth, our perspective, and our understanding of the world. Imagine the people around us as mirrors, reflecting different facets of our own personality. Every individual we meet brings a unique perspective, a new learning, a different challenge. By respecting these differences, we open ourselves to a world of insights and possibilities. Respecting others isn't just about being polite or courteous, it's about acknowledging their ideas, their perspectives, their dreams, and their potential. It's about realizing that every person you meet has something to teach you, something to offer, something that can enrich your life in some way. But respect is a two-way street. While we learn from others, we must also value their potential. When we value the potential in others, we not only encourage them to grow, but we also foster an environment of mutual growth and development. Recognizing potential is like planting a seed. When you acknowledge someone's abilities or talents, you're planting a seed of confidence, of belief. And when nurtured with support and encouragement, this seed can grow into a tree of success, of achievements, of self-realization. Remember, every person you meet is fighting a battle you know nothing about. So let's make a conscious effort to treat people with kindness, with understanding, with respect. Because when we respect others, we respect ourselves. And when we value others, we value the richness of human potential and the diversity of human experience. Respect and recognition. Key ingredients for a fulfilling life. Sixth, limit interruptions from communication channels. This is a key habit that can unlock your ability to concentrate and maintain focus. In our hyper-connected world, we are constantly bombarded with notifications, messages, emails, and calls. These interruptions, while often useful, can also be a major distraction, pulling us away from the task at hand and disrupting our flow. 
Imagine you're working on a critical project, your mind is in the zone, ideas are flowing, and then ping, an email notification pops up or your phone buzzes with a text message. Your attention is diverted, and that train of thought you were riding suddenly derails. It's a scenario many of us can relate to, and it's one that can significantly impact productivity. This doesn't mean you have to go off the grid or ignore important communications. Instead, it's about managing these interruptions effectively. Consider setting specific times for checking emails and messages instead of constantly monitoring them. Turn off notifications for non-critical apps and services. Use tools and settings that filter out unnecessary noise and prioritize crucial alerts. Another practical approach is to set focus hours during your day. This is a dedicated period where you mute notifications, close irrelevant tabs, and concentrate solely on your work. It could be an hour, two hours, or even half a day depending on your schedule and the nature of your tasks. The key is to create an environment that minimizes distractions and interruptions. Remember, it's not about completely eliminating interruptions, but controlling them. By limiting and managing interruptions, you can create a more focused, productive work environment. This habit can help you stay on track, maintain momentum, and ultimately achieve your goals more efficiently. Quiet the noise. Focus on the signal. Seventh, use pen and paper for accountability. Now we're not talking about going back to the Stone Age, but there's something about the act of writing that makes things feel more tangible, more real. When you jot down your tasks, goals, or ideas on paper, they come alive, and you can't simply delete them with a keystroke. The physical act of writing engages your brain differently than typing. It requires a little more effort, a little more thought. That extra step can help embed those tasks deeper into your memory, making you more likely to remember and complete them. Not only that, but there's also a certain satisfaction that comes from physically crossing off a completed task. It's a visual representation of your progress, a little reward for your brain that can motivate you to keep going. What's more, using pen and paper can help limit distractions. There are no pop-up notifications on a piece of paper, no tempting social media tabs just a click away. It's just you, your thoughts, and your tasks. And let's not forget the power of accountability. When your tasks are written down, they're out there in the world, not just floating around in your head. They're a commitment you've made to yourself, a reminder of what you've set out to do. So don't be afraid to go old school with your task management. Grab a pen, get a notebook, and start writing. It's a simple, effective way to keep yourself accountable and focused on your goals. Old school maybe, effective, definitely. Eighth, embrace continuous learning outside your industry. Imagine you're on a journey, a lifelong voyage of discovery. This is not a trip with a fixed destination, but a perpetual quest for knowledge and skills. This is the journey of continuous learning. But why is continuous learning so important? Well, it's simple. The world is changing at a breakneck speed. New technologies, methodologies, and concepts are emerging every day, and if you don't keep up, you'll be left behind. Continuous learning is not just about staying relevant in your field. It's about expanding your horizons, stepping outside your comfort zone, and exploring uncharted territories. It's about becoming a more well-rounded individual and seeing the world from new perspectives. Remember, learning is not a destination, but a process. It's not about mastering a skill or gaining a qualification, but about nurturing a mindset of curiosity and openness. So, how do we embrace continuous learning? It's simpler than you think. Start by reading books or articles outside your field. Attend webinars or workshops on topics you know little about. Engage in conversations with people from different backgrounds. Ask questions. Stay curious. Continuous learning is not just beneficial for your career, but also for your personal growth. It enhances your problem-solving skills, improves your adaptability, and boosts your self-confidence. It makes you a better thinker, a better listener, and a better communicator. And let's not forget, continuous learning can be fun too. It can be a great source of joy and fulfillment, a way to feed your curiosity and passion. So take the plunge, dive into the ocean of knowledge, explore, discover, grow. Never stop learning because life never stops teaching. Ninth, incorporate mindfulness and exercise into your routine. Just as a well-oiled machine runs smoothly, a well-cared-for body performs at its peak. Exercise is not just about physical fitness, it's also an essential part of mental fitness. Regular physical activity helps to reduce stress, boost your mood, and improve your overall cognitive function. Now let's talk about mindfulness. Mindfulness is the practice of being fully present in the moment, 
It's about observing your thoughts and feelings without judgment. It's about being aware of your surroundings, your actions, and your reactions. It's about learning to live in the present, rather than dwelling on the past, or worrying about the future. When combined, exercise and mindfulness can have a powerful impact on your focus and productivity. It's like a one-two punch for your brain. Exercise gets your blood flowing, delivering more oxygen to your brain, which helps to improve your cognitive function. Mindfulness, on the other hand, helps you to quiet the noise in your mind, allowing you to focus on the task at hand. And the best part? You don't need to spend hours at the gym or sitting in silence to reap the benefits. Just 20 minutes of moderate exercise a day can make a big difference. And as for mindfulness, you can practice it anywhere, at any time. It could be as simple as taking a few deep breaths before a big meeting, or really savoring your morning coffee instead of gulping it down on the go. So why not give it a try? Start incorporating mindfulness and exercise into your daily routine. It might just be the key to unlocking your full potential. Remember, it's not about perfection, it's about progress. Start small and build up gradually. Before you know it, these practices will become second nature. A healthy mind and a healthy body, the ultimate focus booster. And there you have it, 10 ways to live a focused life. We've journeyed through the importance of morning pages, clearing your mind, and setting the tone for the day. We've touched on the power of physical exercise and how it can bring control and mental clarity. We've explored prioritizing tasks based on long-term impact and the potential of seeking inspiration from unrelated industries. We've discussed the value of treating people with respect and recognizing their potential, and the effectiveness of limiting interruptions from communication channels. We've also delved into the benefits of using pen and paper checklists for accountability, and the importance of embracing continuous learning outside of one's industry. Lastly, we've highlighted the role of mindfulness and exercise in maintaining focus and relieving stress. Each of these habits, when practiced consistently, can help us lead more focused, productive lives. Now tell us, which habit will you focus on first? Share in the comments below. Till then, stay focused.